There are your um, starting lineups for both the Clock Lovers and the Koha Clamps. Up first, we have uh, something, pumpkin, and hoops coming up for the Clock Lovers. From season two, we have something with John Herbert being your starting pitcher for the Koha Clamps. We got here. Oh, hits that one back for strike two. Something hits it up the middle over to Trisha Takanawa, but she's able to toss it to Tom for the first out of the inning. Up next, we have season one's pumpkin. Number one. The left fielder looking to get something going for the clock levers as she watches strike one go by. Strike two goes by as well. Ooh, hits it over to left hand field. Third baseman was unable to make a play on it, and she will reach safely to first. Next, we have the season one winner, Hoops, coming in. She watches ball one a little high. She pops up this one to left center. They're calling for it. Here we go, Meg Griffin able to make the play. Keeping, uh, keeping her at first base. Up next, we have New York. Number 12. Bad bitch at second base looking to get something done. She pops it over, but Tom Tucker making a diving catch. Get her out. What a play. Up next, we have the Koha Clams coming up with Peter Griffin starting things off for him. And starting pitcher Flavor Flav, of course. Strike one. It's a 1 1 pitch coming from Flav. Goes the two. Three. Flavor Flav walks Peter Griffin to start off the uh, the at bat. Start off the inning for him. Next we got Tom Tucker for the clams. Let's see what these guys can do. Take strike one. He dribbles this one over to the left hand side. That's that's one and two. Tom Tucker grounds out to a double play. And next we got Joe Swanson. Playing right field today. Watch the strike one go by. Takes ball one high and inside. Strike two a little low. Ball two a little high. Hits this one right back to Flav. Flav unable to make the play on the ball, but runs it down and tosses it over to Boots for the third out of the season, or the inning. Up next, top of the second, we have Rain, Boots, and Red Oyster coming up. The designated hitter. Number Rain one. first in season one, designated hitter. Ball one just outside. Strike two, the right in the center of that zone. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Rain pops it up to left field. Meg unable to make the play on it. That'll be a base hit. There we go. Up next, we got Boots. The first baseman. Let's see what she can do. First baseman looking to get that first hit. And she does, cracks it over to Meg, but Meg is able to make the catch. Just send Rain back to first base. Now Up next, we have season right one's right Oyster. Number one. He's playing right field today. Watch the strike one go right by. Right, Herbert sends it a little high for ball one. Ooh, right up the middle. Luckily, he didn't hit Herbert. Peter Griffin's able to keep uh, Rain at second base. We got season ball. one's hottie Number coming up. One. Runners at first and second. Only one out. Kohag's thinking double play, so let's see what Herbert can do for him. Ball so, 1-1 one, one pitch coming up now. Get back to the game. And she pops it up after the 1-2 pitch. Infield fly and Trisha Takanawa able to run back and get it, keeping both runners at base. Now batting, next, we have season one's Miss Latin. One. The catcher, let's see what she can do today against John Stay Herbert by. as she watches strike one go by. Up the middle, good play by Trisha Takanawa though. Gets the throw over to first base for the third out. There we go. Up next, we have Jerome, Cleveland Brown, and Mae Griffin coming up for Kohog. Big Jerome, big power hitter at third base. Let's see what he can do against Flav. Watch strike one go by. Pitch two, 
right up the middle for strike two. Ooh, and Jerome strikes out swinging. Up next, we have Cleveland Brown, the shortstop. Bounces that one back for strike two. Ooh, just, in, just inside for ball one and got some swinging for strike three. Cleveland is out. And next we got Meg Griffin, the center fielder. She's over in left field today. Flavor Flav on fire right now, just locked in with these pitches. As I say that, he throws two consecutive balls. That's how it goes. 3-1 pitch coming. Ooh, Meg tried to check that swing, but it didn't quite work. Hits it up the middle, right to Hottie, who's able to toss it over the boots for the third out of the inning. So two big strikeouts by Flavor Flav. And Koha gets nothing going as we go to the top of the third. There's something coming up. The third base. Oh, for one so far. See what the third baseman can do in this one. Pops it up. Just out of reach of Trisha Takanawa for a base hit. Nice leadoff single by um, something. Here we go with Pumpkin coming up. One for one with a single. Takes ball one a little high. Steve Wright. Right, Herbert found the zone there for strike one. And strike two, pretty much the same identical pitch. Will he do it again? Looks like it. Um, just had no idea what was going on. Watches three straight pitches and goes and sits down. Up next we have season one hoops. Center fielder hits the first pitch she sees. It's gonna be foul for strike one. Cracks this one over to Tom Tucker, tosses it up to Cleveland for first out, but unable to make the catch for the second out. So Boots will be on first. There's New York coming up. 0 for 1 right now. She takes ball one low and inside. Ooh, ball two inside as well. Strike one. Tries to get Boots, but Tom drops the ball again. I don't think he knew it was coming. Oh, New York pops this one high to shallow center. Peter Griffin there to make the catch, though. And he does, and that'll be the end of the inning. So here we go. Clock lovers get another hit, but it's for not, as we're still tied up at zero, going into the bottom of the set, oh, I'm sorry, bottom of the third, with Glenn Quagmire coming up, the designated hitter. And he takes strike one right off the bat. Strike two low as well. He fouls this one off. Stay alive. Backs this one right into center field, right in the gap. That should be extra bases. Quagmire's reaching second. He will stay there for a double. Lead off double for Quagmire as we have Trisha Takanawa coming up. Second baseman's already made a couple good defensive plays. Let's see what she can do on the offense as she takes strike one. Strike two, just a little low. Ball one's gonna be a little outside. She pops this one up, or pops this one down the line. Not really down the line, like right between second and third, but they're able to make the play and get her out. Here we got Clag Quagmire on third base now. For uh, Seamus Levine. Ooh, swing and a miss for strike two. Oh, and he cracks this one deep into the gap between left center. It's right before the warning track. Quagmire will score. And Sheamus gets a double. The Kohog clams take a 1 0 lead as Peter Griffin comes up. Walked back in the first. Take strike one low right there. Flavor Flav still throwing some solid pitches. Able to get a ground out right there for the second out, but that moves over Sheamus to third base with Tom Tucker coming up. First baseman looking to get an RBI right here, extend that lead a little bit. But Flavor Flav a little flustered, can't find the zone. There it is. Right, full count for Tom, let's see what he does here. Oh, and he ends up getting walked. Flav just goes a little high. Now 
Up next, we got Joe Swanson with runners at the corners. And two outs. He's 0 for 1 so far. Watch his ball one go super inside. Oh, and he pops this one up in foul territory. Boots has got it though. She's calling for it and makes the catch. So Gohawk scores a run. Coming off of a uh, double base hit by Sheamus. And they get the one nothing lead here at the top of the fourth as the clock lovers come to bat with Rain. One for one. She pops one down. Pretty much the same exact spot, but a little harder, and it is gone. Rain, the designated hitter, hitting the home run, tying the game up. 404 feet, her first of the season. There we go, clock lovers are on the board. Now, batting, Boots coming the up, the first baseman's 0 for 1 so two. far. She takes strike one up the middle. Watches ball one go outside. Ball two on the inside. Hits this one over, but Tom Tucker is right there to make the play, and that's the first out of the inning. Next, we got Red Oyster, one for one with the single. Another good play. Oh my God, what a play by Cleveland Brown. The diving catch to rob Red Oyster of a hit as Hottie comes up. She watches ball one go outside. Ooh, tries to check that swing, but it doesn't quite work. Cracks this one over to the gap. Peter got a good jump on it, though, and that'll be the third out of the inning. But the damage was done. Clock Lover's able to tie it up. Once again, we got Jerome, Cleveland Brown, and Mae Griffin coming up for the Clams. Jerome, a strikeout victim last time. Kicks ball one high. Ball too low. Blade able to find that zone on that pitch and that one as well. 2 2 pitch coming. Jerome just fouls it off hard to left field. He fouls this one off to right. Got this ball three, full count for Jerome. And he's swinging a miss. Second strikeout of the night for Jerome. We have Cleveland Brown coming up off that great catch he just made. Takes ball one low. Strike one just a little bit higher than that one. He pops it up into center field, but Hoops able to make a play on it. That second out, and then we have Meg Griffin, 0 for 1 so far for the center, for the left fielder, my apologies. Takes strike one low. 1-1 one, one pitch coming from Flavor Flav. Meg pops over to the left field. That'd be a base hit as Pumpkin unable to make the jump and get there to prevent the uh, hit from land or the ball from landing. Up next we have Glenn Quagmire, the designated hitter, popped a double up. Got this uh, game going, the scoring going rather for Kohan. Watch this ball one go there. One two pitch coming for Quagmire. Oh, and he just watches it go by as he strikes out. Unhappy with the call, though. Thought that was low, but it doesn't matter. Up next, we got Miss Latin, something, and Pumpkin coming up for clock lovers. Miss Latin, 0 for 1 so far. She takes ball one from Herbert. He pops this one out, but that's going to be off the fence for an out, or for a foul. Strike three, Herbert gets her to strike out the second of the game. The third base Next we got something, one for two so far. She takes ball one a little low. Good strike one right there. Pops it up to right field. Joe, yeah, Joe Swanson able to call for it and get the out. Next we got Pumpkin, she's one for two with a single. She struck out last time up. Watch strike one go by right there. Pops this one over to center field, but Peter Griffin there to make the catch and end the inning. So a quick one, two, three up and down for uh, Herbert. And now Kohar gets a chance to bat with Trisha Takanawa coming up. 0 for 1 so far. Looking to get on that score sheet. 
Strike two there from Flavor Flav. Trisha fouls that one off left. Ooh, swing and a miss for strike three. Flavor Flav strikes out another one. As Sheamus comes up, he's gonna be pinch hit for Lois Griffin. I don't know why they take Sheamus out. He had the RBI double earlier in the game, but hey, that's what the manager wants to do. It's Lois strikes for a swing and a miss for strike one. Pops it over the right field though, the next pitch. That'll be a base hit. There we go. The, the designated hitter worked out. Or the pitch hitter, sorry. Up next, we got Peter Griffin, 0 for 1 with a walk. Take strike one right there. 1 1 pitch coming right now. Pass, you know, hits it over to New York. Second out. Oh! Boots unable to hold on to the ball. So they only get the one and not the double play. Tom Tucker's up next, 0 for 1 with a walk, with the runner on first. Big swing and a miss for strike one. Hits it right up the middle. That'll be a base hit for Tom Tucker. Peter Griffin thought about going to third, but decided against it. Probably a good idea. So we got Joe Swanson coming up. 0 for 2 so far. Number 14. He's got a runner in scoring position, though. Let's see what he can do here. Backs it deep into right field, but Red Oyster able to, able to make the catch. Good jump on that one. So here we go, Bo top of the six. We got season no one's battle. hoops the coming up for the clock lovers. No and we're gonna have a pinch. No, oh, they're taking Lois 18. back out of the game, putting Chris Griffin in to catch. Should take ball one right there and ball two down. Demir in the dirt. Ball three as well in the dirt. 3-0 pitch coming. And she ends up walking. John Herbert unable to find the the strike zone. I think he's distracted by Chris back there. But who knows what's going on. New York's up now, though. Another ball there thrown by Herbert. That's five in a row. Make that six. Wow. Herbert unable to find the zone with Chris back there. That is two consecutive walks on eight pitches. Now we have Rank coming up. She popped a home run earlier. She's two for two. There's the strike. He finally found it. Let's see if Herbert can keep it going. Ooh, his rain pops over the left field. Meg un oh, Meg made the catch. Wow. Good hustle by Meg out in left field. Make that catch and keep the runners at first and second. For Boots coming up. First baseman is 0 for 1. I'm sorry, 0 for 2 so far as she faces ball 1 right there. Couldn't check the swing for now it's a 1 1 pitch. Tom Tucker able to get it, but they're able to back to the base. We got Red Oyster coming up. She's one for two with a single. Runners at first and second with two outs. She pops it up the middle. That'll load up the bases. They're heading home. And she is out. Bit of a costly attempt there, but a good throw by Peter Griffin to make it down and get that third out without giving up the run. Jerome coming up, he's 0 for 2 so far. 47. He pops one straight up to shallow center field. And that'll be caught by New York for the first out. Up next, we got Cleveland Brown. The shortstop's 0 for 2 so far. Here at the bottom of the sixth. He takes strike one. Next pitch goes low for ball one. Strike two right down the middle. Oh, my controller disconnected because I forgot to push it. My apologies. That was ball two. That 2-2 two -two pitch. Full count for Cleveland Brown. And he gets walked. Flavor, Flavor Flav unable to get him out. Next, we got Meg Griffin. One for two with a single for the left fielder. She's been busy today. A lot of balls heading her way. And she takes strike one right there. And strike two down real quick. 0-2. Ooh, inside though, big time. Kind of got away from Flav. She pops this one up. Maybe she's a little angry on that pitch. Lands safely in center field over to the warning track. It looks like she is rounding home. 
Well, Meg stays at second, but she scores the RBI. Kolhak takes a 2-1 lead here in the bottom of the second. I'm sorry, bottom of the sixth. Quagmire comes up. He's one for two with a double. He pops it up the middle as well, but New York's able to play and get that second out. But that'll move Meg over to third base. But Trisha Takanawa, it's her time to shine and bring that run home. Second baseman's over two so far. Pops it up to center field. But Hoops is able to make the catch. Good play by Hoops. He'll just immediately jump on that. We head to the top of the seventh with Kohog up 2 1. Hadi coming up. She's over two so far today. She pops it up the middle. That'll be a base hit. Lead off single for Hadi. That's what the clock lovers need. Then he gets some offense going. Kind, kind of quiet tonight, especially the bottom of the order right here. And we have Hadi being taken out. Delicious will be running for her as Miss Slatten up, uh, enters the box. She's 0 for 2. The 1-1 pitch coming right now. It's a strike 2. Oh, up the middle, almost hits Herbert. That'll be a base hit for uh, Miss Slatten. But Delicious is up at second base now. Next, we got something. One for three right now. Number two. Got some good speed with Delicious up there at second, so you got to imagine a single or any kind of hit will probably bring her home. And now she's up in the count 2 0. Make that 3 0. Herbert able to find it there. And ends up walking the bases loaded. We got Pumpkin coming up. She's one for three. Struck out at least once. Let's see what Herbert does against her. Ooh, gives up the single. Cleveland able to make the play, but that'll keep the bases loaded with a run scoring. Delish has made it across the plate. Game's tied at two with bases loaded for Hoops. She's 0 for 2 with a walk. Takes ball one low right there. 1 1 pitch coming from John Herbert. Oh, that's a hit over into left field, but Meg makes the catch. The throw home will not be in time. As the clock levers take the 3-2 lead, but still got runners on second and first with New York coming up. She takes strike one. 1-1 one, one pitch for New York. The second baseman's 0 for 2 so far today with a walk. We tried to check it there, but couldn't. Pops this one up backwards. But Chris is there to make the catch. That'll be the second of the inning. Up next, we got Rain. She's two for three with a single and an RBI. Oh, she hit a big homer earlier to put the, the clock covers on the board originally. And the designated hitter is now up in the count. 2-1. Cracks this one over the right-hand side. I'm sorry, left-hand side. But Jerome was able to make the play, get the out. But the damage is already done as the clock levers take a get. Or, yeah, as the clock levers score two there at the top of the seventh, take the 3-2 lead with Chris Griffin coming up. This first time at bat. And Hoops is playing second base. We got Delicious in center field. Flavor Flav is losing some of that velocity, but still getting strikes. Oh, but Chris made him pay for that one. Hits it deep to center. That ball is gone. Chris Griffin tying the game up with a center field home run. 416 footer, his first of the season. Real clams tied up. It's now a 3 3 game in the bottom of the seventh. Up next, we got Peter Griffin 0 for 2 with the walk. Simply they kept Flav in the game after that. 1-1 one, one pitch coming from Flavor Flav. He hits it right up the middle. That'll be a base hit for Peter Griffin. He's on the score sheet now. And next we got Tom Tucker, 1-2 for two with a walk. There you go, Flav is out. We got Sirius from season one coming into pitch. See how she does. Throws a ball one right there. Ball two. 2-1 pitch on its way. 
And Tom hits it right over to Hoops. Give it to New York for the first down and Boots for the second down. Good double play by the clock lovers as Joe Swanson comes up. It's 0 for 3 so far. Takes ball one right there. 1-1 one, one pitch coming to Joe. That's hard. Two and two. Joe pops it up the first baseline. And Boots able to make the catch to get him out of the inning. So thanks to Chris Griffin, the score is now tied. Coming into the top of the eighth, three to three. And we have Boots coming up. He's 0 for three. Puts one passer for ball one. 1-1 one, one pitch coming. Goes a little low for ball two. 2-2 Steve Wright. Two, two pitch coming for Boots. Oh, way inside. Oh, and Herbert ends up walking or almost hits her twice. And we have Red Oyster coming up. Two for three with a couple of singles. As they pull John Herbert, bringing in Roberta Tubbs to pitch for Kohog. That first pitch goes wide right, strike one. Up the middle, Cleveland Brown with a great catch, ends up getting the double play as Boots tried to steal second. What a play by Cleveland there, holy crap. And we got Delicious coming up, her first at bat today. Take strike one right there. Pops this one back, foul for strike two. And she gets up striking out, Roberta Tubbs came in and did some work. We are still tied at three, going to the bottom of the eighth. The Clamps coming up, starting off with Jerome. It's been a little tense in that 0-3 so far today. Number 47. Take strike one right up the middle. 1-1 one, one pitch coming from uh, Sirius. She gets another strike. Sirius got him just looking. Jerome I didn't even try to swing the bat there. We got Cleveland Brown coming off a great defensive inning right there. It's over two of the walk and hits it right up the middle to New York. It makes the play on, tosses over the boots for the second out of the inning. All right, up next we got Meg Griffin, two for three with a double and an RBI. Big strike one. Ball one just goes a little outside. Strike two. Fouls this one off to the left. Pops it up. It looks like Sirius is calling for it. Should be an easy catch, and it is to get out of the inning. So a quick three up, three down for the Clock Lovers. And we move to the top of the ninth, still tied at three. With Miss Latin coming up. She's one for three on the game. Pops this one to center. Peter Griffin got a jump on it, and will make the catch for the first out of the game, for the first out of the inning. The third baseman. Next we got Sum, just one for three with a walk. Takes ball one high. Ball two still a little high. Strike three right down the middle, or sorry, strike one right down the middle. She hits it up the middle, Cleveland. Now the second out of the inning. Next we got Pumpkin, two for four with an RBI. A couple of singles so far. Berta throws it in for ball one. High for ball two right there. Got 2-1 pitch coming up. That'll be a strike. Pumpkin able to foul that one off to stay alive. Hits it up the middle for a base hit. Two out single in the ninth for Pumpkin. Keeping the clock no lovers alive as Boots comes up. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Take strike one right there. Ball one as it goes a little low. Ball two uh, just outside. Ooh, unable to check that swing. That'd be strike two. Pops her up into the infield. Cleveland calling for it and gets it. Up next, we got the bottom of the ninth coming up. 
Foha could win this game with a run. Coming up to Glenn Quagmire, who's one for three with a double. Watch his ball one go low. Pops this one foul over the right hand side. Pops it back for a second strike. Ball two goes high. Another foul ball on the uh, first baseline. Ragnar just trying to stay alive. Full count for him. Ooh, he ends up striking out. Up next, we have Trisha Takanawa. 0 for 3 on the night. Ball one going low. One one pitch from Sirius. Ooh, hit up the first baseline, but Boots is there to make the play for the second out of the inning. It comes down to Chris Griffin with a monster home run to tie the game up. Or no, to give them the lead. I apologize. It's a 3 2. Facing a 1 1 pitch. Down in the count. He hits it right to New York for the third out of the inning. We are going to extra innings, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to the top of the 10th. The Clock Lovers and Kohawk Clamps tied at three. New York up to bat. She's 0 for three with a walk. Berta Tub starts us off with a low ball. Ball two. Two one pitch coming. Ooh, New York able to check that swing. Full count. Pops it up the third baseline right to Jerome. Easy toss over to Tom Tucker for the first out. Now the designated hitter, number one. All right, up next we got Rain coming up. He's two for four with a home run. Slices like outside pitches and uh, looks like Roberta's kind of taunting her with him. Strike two there, a little low. Who goes inside, but just a little too inside. And she cracks that 2 2 pitch deep into center field. That'll at least be a double. Peter Griffin with the big throw down there, trying to keep her at second, and she does. All right, there we go. A one out double for Rain as Boots comes up, who's 0 for 3 with a walk. Ooh, takes it inside, ball one. Ball two. Steve Wright. Strike two just went low. Ooh, tried to catch her, but not quite. Goes up the middle right to Trisha Takanawa. No one there to play second. Try to get that second out. Yo, two outs. We got Red Oyster coming up. But Tur Roberta Tubbs will be out. Brian Griffin coming in to pitch. Red Oyster two for four so far with a couple of singles. Ooh, unable to check that swing for strike one. 3 1 pitch coming from Brian. And he walked her. Yeah, runners on first and second. Now batting the center fielder. Number so we have three. season two's delicious coming up. It's 0 for 1 so far. Pops that one foul down the left hand side. Up from, or not up the middle, but over to the left hand side for a base hit. That'll load the bases up with only with the two outs for Miss Latin, who's one for four on the day. Let's see what she can do here as she watches strike one go past. Ooh, fouls this one off for strike two. Brian takes ball one right there. Trying to get out of this inning. Ball, ball two on the inside. Ooh, and Brian makes a dribble it right back to him. Quick toss over to Tom Tucker and gets out of the inning without any damage done. Here we go, Koak's chance to win it again. Tied at three, the bottom of the tenth. Peter Griffin up first with a single. One for three and a walk. Take strike one right there. Ooh, goes to swing, but strike two. Just high for a ball. And he, she got him. Peter Griffin goes down just watching the ball. I think he was distracted by Sirius. 
Up next, we have Tom Tucker, who's also one for three with a walk. He'll take ball one high. Ball two low. Three is high. Got the zone right there. Full count for Tom Tucker. And he ends up walking. Delicious to, I'm sorry, Sirius, unable to find the zone. We have Joe Swanson coming up 0 for 4. Takes an inside ball one. Ball two almost hit him in the head. Sirius seems to be getting tired. Ooh, Tom Tucker goes to steal, but he is out by a mile. There you go, Joe Swanson hits it to deep right field. That'll get down for at least a double. Now we have the game-winning run in the scoring position with two outs for the Koha Clams and Jerome coming up. 0 for 4. Seriously being taken out, we got Like Dat coming in to pitch. My controller died again. I'm, I gotta keep memory. Here we go. Ball one there for Jerome. Oof, cracks this one foul over to the right hand side for strike one. Like that, throwing some heat. 95 miles per hour in the dirt right there. Ooh, strike three, or strike two goes right past him. And he got it. Gets struck out again. Jerome not having any luck at the plate as he moved to the top of the 11th inning. Top of the order coming up for the clock lovers. Some up first, one for four with the walk. Let's see what she can do. Takes ball one high. Brian Griffin able to get it in there for strike one. Ooh, that one hit well, but it's going to go foul. Strike two for something, and she ends up striking out. Unable to check that swing, and Brian Griffin gets the strikeout. Up next, we got Pumpkin, who's three for five with an RBI. Watch the strike one go past her. Oh my God, she kills freaking Peter. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian Griffin. Just a line drive to the chest. Gets on base as Hoops comes in. Brian Griffin obviously out for Jonathan Weed. Brian Griffin with a body contusion after getting struck in the chest by that ball. So Pumpkin, Pumpkin goes to steal. Cleveland makes a good play on the ball though. Pumpkin will get safely to second, but the out at first. New York up 0 for 4 with the walk, running, sorry, the go ahead run at second base with two outs. New York's up in the count, 2-0. Make that 3-0. She gets a base hit. That'll bring Pumpkin around. She's going for home. And Pumpkin will score on a single from New York. Up comes Rain, three for five with a home run and a double. She needs a triple to hit for the cycle. She ain't gonna get on that pitch, is that strike one? Ball up high, with the one-one pitch coming from Mr. Weed. That'll be inside for ball two. Two-two pitch coming. That's gonna be another base hit for Rain. She gets a single into right field. Boots coming up, she's 0 for 4 with the walk. Mr. Weed just trying to get out of this inning. First pitch delivered, strike one. It's strike two as well. That goes high for ball one. When she dribbles this one up, but John Weed able to jump on it, get that third out. Mercifully, it's over, but the damage is done as the clock lovers bring one across and have the 4 3 lead going into the bottom of the 11. Cleveland Brown coming up. He's 0 for 3 with a walk. Take strike one from like that. Ball one just a little inside. Ooh, that's to be a fair ball up the third base line. But they're able to jump on it and make the play for the first out. Up next, we got Meg Griffin, two for four with a double and a single. She takes strike one right down the middle. Pops this one up into left field. Pumpkin unable to make a play for it, so that'll be a base hit. So a tying run is now on first base for Glenn Quagmire. One for four with a double, feeling a little tense right now. Let's see what he can do. 
cracks this one over to right field for a base hit. Makes it a go for third, but runners at the corners. All right, you have runners on first and third for Christian Takanawa, who's 0 for 4. Number 54. Oh, she pops this one up straight behind home plate. It should be an easy catch, and it is for Miss Latin. Right, down to one out. We got Chris Griffin coming up, who hit a home run earlier in the game. Ooh, takes ball one low. Pops this one up the middle. That'll score from third. And Chris Griffin ties the game up at four all, bringing his sister home with a base single. All right, Peter Griffin coming up. He's one for four with a walk. Got his go-ahead run at scoring position at second base. Peter Griffin takes ball too low. Ball three and low and inside. Oh, and he ends up getting walked. Bases loaded for the Koha Clams with Tom Tucker coming up. He's one for three with a couple of walks. Two outs, a base. All he needs to do is put the ball in play on the ground, and he wins the game for his team as ball two hits the dirt. Oh, and he pops it high. Oh, no. And New York will make the catch for the third out. So we are still tied after 11. But now it's 4-4. Four to four with both teams scoring a run there in the 11th inning. We go top of the 12th with Red Oyster. Two for four with a couple of singles. Pops one just foul down the third baseline in left field. Ooh, a little inside from Jonathan Weed. There we go. Oh, gets right past Jerome. That'll be a base hit. Jerome unable to make a play on that ball. Now we have the winning run there at first base. But Delicious coming up. She's one for two with a single. And she pops it deep, deep into center field. That'll be a double. Possibly even bring home, uh, let's see if she bring home. She did. She got the RBI, an RBI double. At the top of the 12th by Delicious gives the clock lovers the lead super late into the game. With Miss Latin coming up, one for five so far. She watches strike one go by. She's down in the count, 0 and 2. Fouls that one off down the right. Ball one's going to go super inside. She cracks this one over to left field. Will make Griffin be able to make a play? She will. But Delicious make it a play for third, and she'll make it safe. Now so something coming up. One for five with a walk two. so far today. She pops this one straight up into the air. Delicious will make her way back to third as Chris Griffin makes the catch for the second out. Now up next is Pumpkin, four for six, having a hell of a game. See if she can bring Delicious home from third. Ball inside. One one pitch coming from Jonathan Weed. And that's going to be a base hit and another run scored by the Clock Lovers. Oh, Peter Griffin unable to make the play. That'll be a double. She's going for third. Pumpkin getting the triple. A two out triple in the top of the 12th. Now batting the short. Got hoops side. coming up 0 for 4 one. with an RBI and a walk. She'll take strike one right there. 1-1 one, one pitch from Weed. I'm surprised he's still in the game, to be perfectly honest. That'll be a grounder up to Trish Takanawa for the third out. So the clock lovers put two up on the board. Let's see if Koha can uh, tie this game up, if not win it, here in the bottom of the 12th with Joe Swanson coming up. One for five with a double. Takes ball one low. Takes ball two just as low. Ball three, low as well. I like that, finally finding the zone. Full count for Joe Swanson. And he gets walked. 95 mile per hour pitch goes inside. We have Jerome coming up 0 for 5. Missed a big play defensively in that last half inning. And he watches ball one go past him a little high. Steve Wright. 1-1 one, one pitch for like that. Oh, 
wild pitch, but um, yeah, they were unable to move him up. Good play by Boots there to get Jerome out, but the runner gets to second base. Cleveland comes up, he's 0 for 4 with a walk. Had a good defensive game, but then quiet offensively. And he dribbles that one up to third base. That'll be the second out of the inning. So Kolak's down to the last out with Nate Griffin coming up. Three for five with a couple of, oh, sorry, with one double and a couple of singles. She takes strike one off the bat. One one pitch coming from like that. Ooh, swing and a miss for strike two. Oh, and she cracked, she broke her bat, popping it up in the infield. Hoops makes the catch, gets the win for the team, and the clock lovers get a win in extra innings. The six to four victory. There you go, that's how it was all played out. What a game. There are your stats for the games from both teams. When it came to home runs, we had one for the clock lovers coming off of the bat of rain. And for the Quahog clans, they had one home run as well coming off Chris Griffin. All right, the pitchers, the winning pitcher will be like Dat, pitching 2.1 innings, three hits, one earned run, two walks, a strikeout. And the loss will go to Jonathan Weed, 1.2 innings pitched, five hits, gave up two or two earned runs, no strikeouts, and no home runs given up. Your three stars of the game, number three, Chris Griffin, two for three with a home run and two RBIs. Second star is the clock lover's reign, four for six with a home run, two with a double and an RBI. And your first star of the game is Pumpkin, five for seven with a triple, two RBIs, and a run scored.